people welcome or oh, welcome back to my channel i'm sylvia 37 years old and i'm a makeup addict and i've got more, got more eyeshadow to try Hoo -hoo. so i've got the lowers cosmetics meet me at midnight palette look at how beautiful this is i don't I have no clue what to do with this by the way really no idea what i'm gonna do but uh, yeah, we're gonna play with this. So if you like my little videos, then please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell, give me a comment, give me a like. It would be amazing. Mean the world to me. And um, yeah, um, I've got a Patreon if you want to. I have a little Patreon group. Link is in the description box down below. Check it out. It would be amazing um, to have you in my little family. But uh, you don't have to do whatever you want. So today, uh, yeah, 16 sheet eyeshadow palette, it says on the back. Um, uh, on first impression when I saw it, I didn't, I saw swatches and I was really excited, the four shades. And then when I got a palette, I, I saw the palette on Instagram, I wasn't that excited. But I know Lois's formula is amazing. And then when I had a chance to get it, I did get it and I'm really happy because it really looks beautiful. It looks really nice. I'm gonna play with this, see what it does, see how it goes and uh, yeah. And of course we're gonna do swatches in the end so if you want to see that check it out. I am also using a new eye base. This is the Revlon Candid Concealer for eye base. Miss a race by it so I had to definitely try it. So I do use, uh, maybe not so smart idea for using a new palette but oh well life happens. So yeah, let's just play with it, do a voiceover, and uh, like I said, I'll do swatches in the end, so stay tuned for that if you want to as well. And then we're going to start with the color Midnight, and it's going to be on my Ruffer 02 brush. And I'm just going to make a line on my eyes. Um, I'm using for the first time my Revlon uh, Candid Concealer as a base for my eyes and shadow, so I really hope this goes well. And this works, uh, especially with this palette, because I think Lewis, Lois is amazing. And I uh, would love that it would work. Everything would be perfect and blended and amazing. But it looks like it, because look at that black go. To be honest, you don't see the... Yeah, you now see a little bit of shimmer in it. But yeah, I just use it, use it as a black, not a black with shimmer. So yeah, it is already a little, little bit. But then again, she has another amazing black... Uh, in more palettes to be honest so uh, yeah because she has a black well not in uh, rose metal it's a dark brown i've just noticed not a black black um, but i think there's also one in the other the last palette before this now we're going to go in with mysterious and it's going to be on a 116 p louise brush my new favorite brush for blending out precise looks and it's going to be precise, at least this part is going to be precise. So yeah, uh, look at the color. I feel like it blends amazing together, to be honest. Lowest quality has always been amazing. I have all four of her palettes and it's really good. So I really enjoy it. So that's good. And um, oh, look at that go. The colors are so amazing. So yeah, I'm really happy with my Revlon concealer. I didn't yet use it as a concealer. I just use it as a eyeshadow base. So, but it works really well. Oh, to be honest, I know Missa said that once that her was uh, scratchy. This is on one side scratchy, the other side isn't. So, I don't mind. Um, but yeah, I <laughs> thought it was funny that I had the same scratchiness on it. But uh, yeah, I'm so happy. It works really well. Like you can see, it just blends. But it also blends on, the, uh, on my set base because uh, outside of my eyebrow is already set. So, it works really well there as well. I don't feel any difference or anything. So, would probably not have mattered because this is all not set on, on my eyes. I never set my eye base. I do that with my eyeshadow when I put it on, like now. But it looks amazing and it blends so nice. I fell in love with this palette even more. Um, when I saw it, when I saw her first four swatches she did, I was in love. Then I saw the palette and I was thinking, hmm, okay, it's nice, but not what I expected. But um, I, do, I did like it. It's just not as, as, as what I expected, like I said. And um, now I've got it. And I love it. It looks so good. Look at this, how this blends together and the colors work together. 
um, there's more shades that would work together. So yeah, um, now we're going to go in with Ambitious. And again with my 116 Pillow uh, brush, a new one, of course, a clean one. Well, it doesn't look clean anymore because it's stained. But uh, yeah, so yeah, it's 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 a nice pen. It's amazing. Pen. Oh, nice. It's an amazing palette. It's it's so good. And uh, yeah, well, you can f fall in love with palettes more after you use it. To be honest, even more. I did like it. It just I don't know. So it sound weird. I don't know. I love it. It's it's so good. Um, really happy I've got it. Um, and I've got the chance to get it. And it all blends perfectly together. The shade is also very, very nice. It is a little bit of a, a, a sunset color combination, but with the rest of it, um, it uh, is a little bit of a different one. So, uh, but I really, really enjoy it. And I really had fun with it. And uh, this looks so, so nice. And uh, yeah, it's so good. <laughs> I keep repeating myself. I feel like at the moment I only have good palettes that work for me really well. Um, yeah, to be honest. But I don't know. Do I have less palettes? I uh, I don't stop just stop buying the Revolution palettes. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, shit, shit. Now we're going to cut my crease, of course, with my blank canvas from P. Louise and the 7072 brush. I'm going to speed this up because... Uh, You've seen me cut off crease a million of times, but I also want if new people, uh, I want to see how I'm doing it. So yeah, but I'm speeding it. So I'm going really fast. I don't have to speak really fast because I do this fast with over afterwards. <laughs> it sounds so fun. So yeah, this one went perfectly cut, I think. And um, I thought only doing uh, right underneath it and I always end up doing the rest because I have enough on my brush, like you can see. And uh, yeah, I didn't have to dip in that much, so... Oh well. I do love this base by the way. I've never used anything else to cut my crease anymore. And now we're gonna go in with this gorgeous shimmer got guided. And we're gonna put it on my pencil brush from Morphe. And we're just gonna put this in the inner corner and leave some space between my cut crease and this. And the uh, eyeshadow on top. Because yeah, I don't know. I've got inspired by a look from Chloe Hartz. It did not come uh, uh, look like that in the end at all, but um, I don't know. It's a little bit of the shape she used that I really like, so it's it's inspired by her, for sure. Um, and um, it's just the shape of the look. I did something a little bit different, still a lot different than she did, but um, yeah, that's what I, 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 yeah, that's who I saw what the look like this, and I. Um, did not recreate it, but I, yeah, I got inspired. I don't know, I'm just saying the word, I just don't want to... I just want to recognize that I did, did got inspired by someone and then decided on doing this. So yeah. Chloe Hearts, if you want to follow her, it's C-H-L-O-O-E underscore hearts. So yeah. She's amazing, does amazing looks by the way, and I got inspired by her, which I like. And I forgot to say that in the end. And uh, and I didn't uh, get inspired in the beginning. Um, this is the color Illuminated. And it's going to be on my V9 brush. So like I said, when I started this, I had no idea what to look to do. And then I started with my top crease uh, uh, shades in the beginning. And then in the end, when I ended it, I thought, hmm, this looks like what I want to do now. And this looks like a little bit like a look I saw. And then I look back in my... Um, saved folder on Instagram and I saw this and I was like, ah, yeah. And then I got inspired and did the, the look and because of that. So yeah, you can even get inspired after the fact. I just forgot to mention it in the end, so I'm really sorry for that. So yeah, Chloe Hearts, go follow her. She's amazing on Instagram. I'll, I'll try to link her down below, but I forget a lot of times because I should have attacked Missa in my last post as well. So yeah, um, if I forget, I'm sorry. Um, I've spelled her name so you can find her if you want to. Now we're going to go back in with Guided. The same brush I used before, so the pencil brush, and just blend it together like I always do. And then we're going to go in with this gorgeous color called Nightfall. And this is on my 2-1 Revel brush. I didn't want to do my Jessup 237s because it didn't go that well with the last kind of looks I did with that brush. So I figured I'd use different brushes and see what works better. And this brush works amazing, by the way. Look at how that goes on. And then look at the color. These shimmers are so amazing. I feel like these shimmers are still better than the Beauty Bay one that I started with last yesterday. So 
Oh no, on the video of yesterday, I didn't film it yesterday. But yeah, just keep on adding on and making it perfect. Going back in with illuminated again to blend it together. And I felt like I missed a piece right there at the top. So a little bit more on there. Um, yeah, like you can see. And now we're going to go in with this gorgeous color Nocturnal. And we're going to go in with my very small mini pencil brush from Morphe, I think. And um, like you can see, it had fallout. And I think it's the brush. I don't think it's the palette because nothing else fell out on the shades. And uh, But just with this one. And I wanted a precise brush, but I don't have that many... Like these, I need more for O3s. I need so much stuff, <laughs> but no, um, eventually. But it worked. It just had fallout. But I think it's the brush, not the palette. So I just wanted to tell you that it's probably not um, this gorgeous palette because that's the only shade that fell out, and the rest it didn't at all. So I feel really feel like it was some brush. But the color is gorgeous. Look at that go. Oh, love it. So yeah. It's amazing. I try to be really precise to make a nice point of it. This is a little different of what Chloe did, um, but uh, yeah. You know, you also have to call out your inspiration and then give your own twist to it. And that's what I did. I give my Sylvia twist to it. This look, and I felt it because it looks, I think it looks amazing, to be honest. I love it. Um, yeah, keep on finicking till it's perfect for me because, yeah, that's what we gotta do. I really look at that color by the way. It's so pigmented and so nice. And now we're going to go back in with Nightfall again just to blend it all together with that other shade with the nocturnal shade. Oh, what is it? Am I in the nocturnal palette? Uh, ah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm sorry. I'm being random. <laughs> and I'm being cheeky. I'm using a different palette. This is the rose metal also from Lois. And I needed a one and only to just. Uh, Put something in the, in the between the two looks because I felt like the, just the uh, Pilouise base wasn't perfection. So this had to be put on and I'm sorry I'm using different palettes but I couldn't see any of the other colors that would pop. I feel like I could use the, 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 the lilac called face but I feel like it wouldn't have popped as much. So yeah, I used uh, um, uh, skin tones from Rose Metal. Which is also an amazing palette, so yeah. But I don't think it's uh, there uh, discontinued at the moment, so sorry. But it's, uh, yeah, you can use any in neutral shade, by the way. But yeah, I used Lois because, yeah, uh, I'm using Lois now, so I figured let's use it. And this brush, by the way, is a Morphe M5, M705. It really works well for it because it has a really nice tip to it. And really small and finicky, so yeah. Uh, don't tell anyone I use a different palette. And then we're going to go in with Disturb, and this is going to be on a brush from ABH, from an ABH palette. Because I can be really nice and precise and didn't want to go to extreme because I'm using a different color here as well. Because yeah, I like to use as much color as I can. And look at this go as well. It's amazing. I love it. Goes on really, really nicely. Um, loving it. Again, way different than Chloe did, but uh, yeah, she's an inspiration today. And... You always have to give your own spin on a look, I think at least. This is the color Face, and this is the palette brush from ABH still. I just cleaned up my color switch, which you also need a new one for, because mine is looking dreadful and hanging in there just by a thread. Oh well. So yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I love it. Looks so good. I love this shade as well. So yeah, definitely going to use some different things next time. So we'll see. Then we're going back in with Guided, just to do a little bit more on the inner corner when all the shades went on top to make sure it works. And yeah, that's what I did. And look at how it came out. I really feel it myself. That's why I'm doing this little uh, clip in. <laughs> that's me all done. What do you guys think? <coughs> I'm honestly really impressed. I, I love Lois's formula. It's amazing. Uh, the other palettes from her are also amazing quality. But the colors didn't speak to me until I put them on my eyes. I, I, wow. It blends like a dream. I mean, look at it. You don't see the shimmers in the black, to be honest. But then again, I blended a lot over it, so. But the, the normal shimmers and the mattes and yeah. Uh, the quality is amazing, it's there. Um, 
I didn't think, but I fell in love more with the palette while using it. I did like the palette, uh, even though it just, but, but um, now I'm using it. I'm so thrilled I've got it because it's so good. Definitely going to do a look with it again. Um, it's blended really nicely. I, I, I feel like I only have a really good palettes at the moment, you know? But then again, I do choose my palettes at the moment more than just go for FOMO and buy whatever I want because I don't have the money for it. And I don't mind it. No, no, don't think I'm poor or sad or any of that. I'm not. But um, yeah, it's amazing. But I love it. I love it. I hope you didn't mind my cheeky mixing palette because I needed a neutral color in between this. And um, yeah, used a little bit of my Lois Rose Metal for that. Because yeah, I didn't have, feel like I had a shade that I could put on in between on in the Midnight palette. I could have done the... Uh, because the lightest shade is, is this one and this one. And I could have used this one. But I didn't feel like that then then it wouldn't look as good on the top. I don't know. So yeah, that's I didn't do that. So but um yeah, I'm impressed. Um to be honest, you can see I have a little bit of a green look at down here, because this green has fallout. But then again, I do did do it with a little small precise brush. Um maybe it was of that, because it was a small brush. I actually actually need Probably more of these from Refer, because this would have done the trick, but stays better in the bristles. And I now use this really small one from Morphe. Um, and I'm feeling it's not as good as staying power. So maybe that's it, but um, yeah. Uh, it did have a little follow, so that's why it's a little green. I went over it, I got a little bit more of highlighter on me, especially on my nose. <laughs> Afterwards, because yeah, I did that, so... But um, I really like it. I love it. How it turned out. I had fun with this. I love playing with makeup. Let's be honest. Just so, just let's swatch it now, right? Because also necessary. So we're going in with face. New day. Uh, tonight. And inky. So face, new day, tonight, oh, oh, I should have used that one, oh, oh, and inky, oh, oh, those are good too, oh man, then we've got illuminated, half moon, nocturnal, and ambitious. So illuminated, half moon, oh that's nice too, uh, nocturnal, and ambitious, oh that swatch is really nice, like it, like it, like it. Then we've got guided, mysterious, witching hour, and nightfall. So guided, mysterious, witching hour, and nightfall. Yeah, had cramped my fingers. Sorry, that look weird. I like this a lot. The nightfall shade looks amazing on the eyes. It looks amazing. What this is amazing swatches, by the way. Then we've got the last row. Disturbed, Blood Moon, Same Stars, Same Stars, and Midnight. So Disturbed, Blood Moon, Same Stars, Midnight. Yeah, so that's the whole palette swatched. Oh, I have goosebumps, sorry. <laughs> Not that cold, but anyway. Oh yeah. So, I love it. I should have used this one as well. And this one for sure, look at that. Or this one. Oh. 
It is one of the nice ones, this one. So mix and match also those for you. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I love the look I came up with. I apparently have to play with this again because it's stunning and beautiful and amazing. And I had so much fun playing with it. I hope you like my little video. If you do, then please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Give me a comment. Give me a like. It would be amazing and mean the world to me. And uh, also become a patron. I have my own little telegram group and to do Skype calls for now and then. I was thinking of doing next week. Sunday, which be would be 28, I think, of, Mar of March. Something like that. Anyways, um, ah, I love doing this. Thank you all for watching. I love you all. Be yourself. Stay yourself. Be happy. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.